Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Marvin again, back with some more music reactions. Welcome back to Smitty Reacts. And uh, in this video, we're going to be taking a journey back into Love Bites land. <laughs> I feel bad because every time I walk in, I feel like I get bitten and I become a fan again of this of, of this band. <laughs> uh, and I'm slowly but surely fleshing out my Love Bites playlist. Um, so for all my love, love bites, love bites fans. Good night. Uh, I just want to say thanks. Thanks for su the suggestions so far. Thanks for all the recommendations and music. Um, I'm slowly building the list of songs I want to check out from this group and definitely becoming um, more and more of a fan as I listen to them. So thank you for that. And uh, before I hit start on this video, um, I just want to say thanks. Thanks for being here. Thanks for the, all the love, the subscriptions, um, all the conversations that I've had in the comments so far to date about you know, all the videos I've posted so far. And um, I'm on the march to try to get to 2000 subscriptions. Um, so my goal for that, hopefully, is to have that by the end of the month. I'm at 1700 subscribers right now. So I'm hoping by uh, February 1st at the latest, I'll have uh, 2000 subscri subscriptions. So I'm just trying to work on that. So my goal to hit that is to just drop content. Um, relax, relax to uh, more songs, check out more music, see what you guys want me to check out you know and i'm here for it so with that being said let's check into some love bites um quick a quick couple things about this video um i'm gonna put timestamps at the beginning of it when i start the reaction and i'll definitely put um timestamps at the end of the song that way you can just jump ahead if you like and then of course you know I'll, I'll do my normal thing i'll pause the video i'll talk about what's going on you know give you guys a, a chance to uh peek inside what i was going on in up here <laughs> while i'm checking out what's on the screen and what I'm hearing. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. And then of course, like, share, comment, subscribe if you'd like, you know, and just let YouTube know that, you know, you guys are appreciating the content that I'm putting out there. So anyway, without too much more talking, let's check out Love Bites, Burden of Time. Let's go. right there before they transition i heard the transition coming right there i like that scum that um you don't have to give me the technical terms of that but i love that with i love the way that was put together right there um the way that she did it like three times and then transitioned to the next piece of the song was awesome um and i definitely appreciate the singing here going on um i'm looking around the recording space here and i like their placement as well i like the fact that they can all see each other you know like everybody's looking at each other it looks like which, in my opinion, helps bands stay together, helps them stay focused, especially when you're practicing. You really want to feel comfortable and good. That way you can take that out of the practice room onto the stage and not necessarily have to look at each other, but you get more of a symbiotic feel as far as what's going on on stage. Because in a live setting, you really want to rely on your training and your playing instincts um, because anything could happen live. <laughs> so that's why training sessions like this are, are super important, super critical for any band or any performer really just working on their craft and what they want to do. So anyway, let me get back to this song a little bit. Let me rewind just a tad.
like that little breakdown right there. That mini break right there was dope. Uh, yo, like I'm, a, <laughs> I'm just liking everybody's aesthetic in here. Uh, you got the lead guitarist over here and her kind of, kind of more black, you know, kind of emo time kind of attire over here. Um, uh, you got my girl over here with the, what I call the Prince guitar, <laughs> you know, and then you got the bass player on the other side and all of them are just jamming out. I like the aesthetics even here, like in a practice setting, like everybody has their own, you know, personality and stuff, which I, I definitely appreciate. Um, and the drummer is probably honestly one of the happiest drummers I have ever seen in a, in a metal band. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe her. Like she's just a ball of energy, you know what I'm saying? But she can, you can definitely tell she appreciates being there and you can hear it come through in her plane. Like it's really energetic, you know, up tempo type of plane, you know, but it doesn't sound like sluggish or sloppy or anything, which that can happen sometimes, um, from some bands that I've heard. So, yo, like, it's really, really cool dynamic of the group right here. Um, I can definitely see why you guys are fans. Cause like just listening to just the, just the practice session of this lets me know they're doing all right. <laughs> so let me rewind just a little bit. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I threw. She literally went over to the piano. You know what I'm saying? Took her. What, what hand is that? Was that the right hand? Hold on. Is that? No, her left. Yeah, that would have been her right hand. So her right hand was down here playing on the piano. Left hand up here still stringing a guitar. You know what I'm saying? She got a pick in her mouth. Just killing it. Like. That's how you know you're a bad mother chucker. <laughs> That's how you know you bad at your instrument. Multi instrument, multiple instruments at that. You know, that was a dope breakdown. Not only that, but just seeing that live happen in the studio where she just was like, nah, let me come over here and play this piano and this guitar at the same time. That's that's ridiculous. Um, that reminds me, real quick, of um growing up, listening to my dad. My dad was a bass player, and um he would always tell me, like, fundamentally. The first instrument that you want to learn uh, before you learn any other instrument typically is the piano. And it's for a few reasons. Uh, one is because most bands tune to the piano. So whatever keys the piano is tuned to, they're going to like tune to that. So if they're going to C, C sharp, D minor, whatever the case might be, you know, and I don't know about, about music like that. But if you know how to play the piano and know your basic scaling and chord structures and stuff, like that'll give you like the groundwork for most other instruments. Um, secondly, that gives you the practice for hand-eye coordination. So if you can co coordinate your hands for the piano and get that going, and then you get off the piano, once you kind of get structured with that, you can transition those same hand um, skill set to guitars or other, other instruments that require both hands and coordination in, in playing the instrument. So he was just like, fundamentally, it, it makes more sense to start with piano before you slide to any other uh, type of instrument. So I, I, I can see that where someone that plays guitar, um, even though they may not necessarily like to play piano per se, 
probably can. <laughs> and they probably are better than most just because they've had a lot of experience between both instruments. And that said, I mean, that still bridges into timing, which helps you with drumming. And there's obviously notes in drums and how those work. And anyway, he kind of talked about that a lot um, back when he was trying to teach me how to play. Um, well, he didn't really. Well, to, yeah, back when I was learning how to play trombone, essentially, <laughs> and growing up around my family. But anyway, I thought I always thought that was cool. So when, anytime I see people doing that stuff, like it immediately takes me back to that conversation. Um, and basic music theory, a little bit of music stuff that I, I latched onto as a kid, but that said, that was dope. Like I wasn't expecting that at all. And that just speaks to the, uh, ability of our, our player right here. She is amazing. She's really good. Let me back up a little bit too. Cause I want to hear some more of that shredding on that guitar. So let's go back a little bit. Let's go. Definitely love that. Definitely love Bird of a Time from Love Bites. I appreciate the hell out of that song. Um, just from the just from the awesome musical display <laughs> right there. That was awesome. The fact that she just walks over to the piano and played both that and the piano, the piano and the guitar at the same time. Flawless. That was that was so good. Um, I definitely need to like pull the lyrics up. I think some more on these on these uh, videos because like. I know some of that she's saying in um, English. There's some English stuff going on in there. Um, but that said, you know, it's still kind of hard to understand sometimes. Um, and some of it's kind of going in and out of that and Japanese. So I definitely want to have a chance to um, kind of dissect some of the meaning of, of some of the songs a little bit more. Um, that said, it was still good. It didn't matter what she said. It sounded good. She sounded great on the vocals, you know, and that's really transcendent of what is going on it doesn't matter what she's singing about or whatever but if it sounds sonically good and it fits in well with the melody of the music and blends in well with everything the way that it's composed and everything like she could be singing hot cross buns and still be all right <laughs> so anyway give it up for love bites y'all give it up one time for the girls killing it over there um doing their thing on on the song so at any rate i'm gonna get up out of here y'all this has been smitty reacts Again, my name is Marvin. Thanks for watching the video all the way through to the end. I appreciate you guys. Please, of course, like, comment, share, all that good stuff to help out the little YouTube uh, gnomes do their thing to their best abilities. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to get up out of here. Hey, y'all take care of yourself. Uh, be kind to one another, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. All right? Cool. Peace.